come to watch my video, have you? So we've covered gaming chairs before. Well, actually, we've only covered one gaming chair before, unless you count this sorry excuse for a video. And the message from you guys was definitely clear. We want more coverage of gaming chairs. So here we are with our coverage of the DX Racer F-Series, a smaller gaming chair for, well, smaller people. Ensure swift victory with Corsair's highly responsive, lightweight gaming mouse, the Sabre RGB. Click now to learn more. A piece of furniture is always going to start with the packaging and assembly experience, isn't it? The chair arrived well padded with closed cell foam and no visible damage after having been shipped once to my shipping location in the US and then again to me in Canada. Very nice. And the manual is small, but clearly illustrated and translated into nine different languages, a reflection of DX Racer's global presence with shipping distribution centers and localized websites all over the world. It only took me about 15 minutes to put the chair together, not including the time that I spent fidgeting about with the camera, and while it confused me for a couple of seconds, when the only baggie of hardware I could find contained an Allen key and a single set of bolt washer and lock washer, when I figured out it was just a spare, and the others were pre-installed in the holes where they're ultimately going to end up, I was like, yeah, nice touch, like that. It means no guesswork, and the lock washer and regular washer orientation and bolt locations are all pre-configured for you. Finishing touches were a piece of cake, snap on the plastic guards for the backrest supports, put the little orange accents on the aluminum base that's, that's actually apparently been tested to support up to a ton, even though the chair itself suggests a maximum load of 265 pounds. Just watch the orientation. It's thick end to the outside so your foot rests on it a little easier. Then slip the optional head pillow over the top and thread through the clips for the height adjustable lumbar support and you're ready to rock. And if the point of buying this chair was feeling ready to rock, then I guess you couldn't have done much better. I went with the black and orange color scheme because I thought it looked very Linus Tech Tipsy, but it's actually available in a variety of different styles, all of which look extremely sharp. Around the tubular steel frame that includes a lifetime warranty, if you're ever worried you might actually break the frame of a chair, you'll find a high-density cold cure foam wrapped in a polyurethane covering, which has a somewhat leathery feel to it, but is waterproof. The DX Racer logo at the top is embroidered digitally, and my bald friends will be happy to hear this. If you opt to leave the head cushion off and lean back in the chair, you'll be pleased to know that DX Racer has used a nice soft thread for the stitching so it won't chafe. And I guess soft is a good transition word for this next bit. Compared to the last gaming chair that I checked out, the foam in the DX Racer F series is noticeably softer, making it hug my butt and give way to my back a little bit more as I sit in it. For my personal tastes, this would be good if my usual sitting position was a little less upright and more slouchy because the angle of the foam where the backing meets the bottom seems to lend itself to a more reclined posture that has your butt further forward on the cushion with the back kind of spooning your curved spine. This is reinforced by the presence of a wire in the bottom of the seat that can be actually easily felt through the cushion if you scooch too far back when you're sitting straight upright. I hoped the lumbar cushion would help with this even though generally I prefer not to use them and even though I found it does a good job of staying in position, it was a bit too thick to be practical for me. But normal and upright isn't the only way the F-Series can be used. The chair has most of the usual adjustments. Height adjust is handled by the gas lift lever on the side and goes much higher and much lower than I would ever want as a 5 foot 6 inch bloke. And you can also use this lever if you want to lock the rock functionality just by pushing it in. Rocking tension can be adjusted with this knob from, the, from difficult to push back to pretty easy to push back and the contoured armrests are nicely shaped for your forearms and are height adjustable to nine different positions with ergonomic release and lock buttons positioned underneath the side of each of them. Finally, the chair can be safely reclined with over 20 usable positions so far back that you can basically lie flat in it. DX Racer also points out that you can actually use the 12 degree rock even if the chair is lying flat, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. It's not that you'll actually fall over, it's just that your head will be lower than your feet. Which leads us to the conclusion. 
This chair is not directly comparable to the last one I reviewed because it's designed for use by someone with a much smaller frame. But instead of having DX Racer send me their M series, something that would be more equivalent, I asked for the F series hoping it would be the final answer to the question of which gaming chair is for me. Unfortunately, I don't think this is it. It's definitely a personal preference thing, but I think a more level butt cushion design with firmer foam, but the same size as an F series would be grand if I could find such a thing. So my quest for the perfect office slash gaming chair is not over yet. But let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer a more relaxed sitting position or a more upright one? I mean, did all of the things that I complained about sound just dandy to you? Let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you want to see more chair videos. Speaking of more videos, without sponsors like our friends at Mass Drop, we'd have a hard time making them now, wouldn't we? Today's featured drop is the Varmillo VA87M, a pretty darn cool 10 keyless mechanical keyboard. It features a solid metal body actually made of metal, with a cool artistic design of your choice, Cherry MX switches, and either die sublimated top printed or laser etched front printed PBT keycaps. They did not skimp on the materials for this keyboard and it's pretty top notch stuff from a relatively small keyboard maker. Now, I guess right off the top of this spot, we kind of assume that everyone knows what Mass Drop is, but if you don't, they're a site that facilitates group buys, ensuring that you can get great deals on stuff like new tech, clothes, tools, and heck, even tea if you're into that sort of thing. Items are nominated and then selected by the Mass Drop community, and then Mass Drop works directly with the manufacturers and distributors to find a starting price, a lowest price, and a bunch of prices in between that for each product. And then each lower price gets unlocked as a certain number of people commit to buy the aforementioned product. There's a referral link in the video description that leads to the drop for this Formula keyboard that does not give us a commission, but does let Mass Drop know that we sent you. So head on over there to get the full details on the pricing and duration of this drop and be sure to take a look at aroundonmassdrop.com and see if there's anything else that piques your interest. Guys, thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Let us know if you want to see more gaming chair videos just like this one. Also, don't forget to check out the other links in the video description to support us. You can buy a cool t-shirt like this one. You can give us a monthly contribution or you can change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code so we get a small kickback whenever you buy stuff on amazon.com or .uk or wherever else. Thanks again for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe.